Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to this event focusing on international exchanges to Japan. We welcome the residents of the International House today and members of the Friendship Force of Harrisburg and members from the local community. I'll provide a brief background on the Friendship Force International's World Friendship Day, which commemorates this organization's birth. Friendship Force was launched from the White House in a ceremony on March 1, 1977, with the endorsement and support of President Jimmy Carter. The work of Friendship Force was recognized in a 1992 nomination for the Nobel Peace Prize. And March 1, 2009, hello, come on in, make yourself comfortable. Uh, this marks the fifth annual celebration of this important day, acknowledging the groundbreaking work which consists of a program involving international homestays that bring people together at a personal level. The idea for the organization was to use friendship as a tool to overcome prejudices of culture, color, language, and religion. Today, Friendship Force International is a worldwide organization headquartered in Atlanta, Georgia, with clubs in more than 350 cities and in 60 countries. The clubs are community-based volunteer organizations that work to increase international understanding through the process of home hospitality. <coughs> clubs organize travel called exchanges to another country where members are matched with local hosts in whose home they live for a short time. Each year, more than 5,000 citizen ambassadors travel with the Friendship Force, changing the way they see the world by exploring other countries from inside as temporary citizens. Living with a host family and sharing everyday life brings a profound understanding of another country and culture. In 2008, more than 4,500 Friendship Force citizen ambassadors traveled on exchanges with thousands more serving as home hosts. Okay, at this time, Ms. Carolyn Hoffman, Exchange Director for the Friendship Force of Greater Harrisburg, will offer her remarks concerning the outbound exchange to IG Japan scheduled for November 2009. Um, Harrisburg, Group of Friendship Force, sponsoring an exchange to IEG Japan November 8th to the 22nd. One week homestay with our IEG friends who we hosted two years ago. They have uh, some great plans for us to visit North Hockey and Toyota and other things to show us their lovely area of Aichi. And then a one week tour going to uh, Tokyo, Kyoto, Hakone, <coughs> to see Mount Fuji, uh, and several other places on that itinerary. Um, we'd love to see anybody who's interested to uh, sign up that you have interest. That doesn't mean you're signing up to definitely go, but you know, we'll give you uh, information about the trip and the cost and everything, perhaps you would be able to join us. At this time, Mr. Joe Geiger, Executive Director of the Pennsylvania Association for Nonprofit Organizations, will provide a presentation on an exchange that his organization sponsors to Niigata, Japan. Uh, could you talk a, uh, a little bit more about the customs? Uh, whatever my wife travels, there's always there's a difference of things you have to, you know, be careful if someone don't step on somebody's feet. Um, that, one of the stories I'll share, when I went there the first time, uh, I'm a pretty social kind of guy, I, I shake your hand or uh, give a hug kind of thing. Yoji introduced me to his board chair, who I felt like I knew because he had talked so much about her when he was here. And I went up and, and reached my hand out and, and, and said, Ohio gozaimasu. And she kind of pulled back and, and, and blushed a little bit and looked away and then, then bowed. And I said, did I offend her? And he said, no, she is acting like a traditional Japanese woman that, uh, who's not likely to, to walk up and say, hey, how you doing? They're, it's more formal. It's more respectful. Uh, when you greet people over there, you, you bow lightly forward. You don't go too far if you exaggerate. You, you can imagine that they, that they might think that you're making fun of what they do. Business cards were exchanged everywhere, and we never put our business cards in our pants pockets. It was always in the breast pocket. It was always in a carrier 
that uh, that was that was nice. The, the uh, business cards are pristine. When you would hand your business card to someone, you would do it with both hands facing them like they were going to read it, and they would return their business card to you in the same way. Even if they could not read English, and if you could not read Japanese, you still observe it and look at it and acknowledge it and put it away up here, because it would be disrespectful for you to pull it out of your pants pockets. Uh, with uh, chopsticks, M many of the meals are served family style, and they don't send the bowl around with a big ladle in like they do here, or a big fork. So you may have to pull food off of a platter with your chopsticks. And the, cost, the, the customary way to do that is to turn your chopsticks upside down and use the opposite end than what you would stick in your mouth. When you are finished, you lay your chopsticks across your plate. You don't just throw them on the table beside your plate kind of thing. When you are at a meal, your host will always fill your cup for you. It would be disrespectful for you to fill your own cup. I was at a gathering with about 20 people. My translator was sitting beside me. And about midway through the dinner, I reached for the bottle of wine. And she said, oh, no, 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 no. And she took the wine and filled my glass. And I said, no, I want to fill this person's glass. And she said, oh, very. It was but so appreciative. They, they would watch me do what they do commonly and say, why did you do that? And I would say, because I want to be respectful. And the word traveled very quickly about how mannerly we were how respectful we were and the people were just really gracious. We are the Friendship Force Parade celebrating World Friendship Day. Oh, man.